Hi guys, <clears throat> this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Okay, brothers and sisters, I want to talk about something that's very, very disturbing. Every time I see this challenge, I go, ooh, you know, it's all over social media. Can't go on my Facebook page without seeing somebody putting up this stupid, wicked challenge. And um, it's about... <sighs> People, lack of knowledge is going to kill a lot of people, honestly. But it's about this crate. I don't know if you've seen this challenge going around brothers and sisters. It's especially in the black community. The black, the, 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 the spiritual world of darkness when it comes to game. Because Satan creates game, in case you didn't know. Lucifer creates, creates game. And one of the games that he created in, 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 in prehistoric century is Gladiator, where the you know where people go into the gladiator ring and you just get hacked to, to death in Rome. That's a game. That's a, that's a game from the kingdom of darkness. Why is it from the kingdom of darkness? Because it's blood. And when it comes to anything of shedding of the blood that is innocent. Satan benefits. They get some form of I don't know, uh, don't know of the growing power. I don't know. If, uh, not sure how. It, I'm not sure how that work. But blood sacrifices is real, and that's why the Most High Yah says that do not let your children pass through the fire, because when you sacrifice unto Satan, he gets more proud, <laughs> so to speak, in his ways. But um. But um, Genesis 9, all right? I'm going to read a little bit in a, in a while once I find it. Um, but there's this challenge, brothers and sisters, that's going around called the Crate Challenge. And like I say, it's, it's, um, it's, targeted, it's targeting really the black community, which is very, very sad. It's, it's a demonic game. It's a demonic game and it's a game of mockery. You see, Satan time is short. So... Yes, we're expecting big wars and the, 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 the you-know-what to desecrate people. But there are other things that Satan is ramping up. And games is one of them. You're going to have a lot of demonic games come out. Just like the Ouija board. You look at the Ouija board and you say, oh, you know, it's just a game. It's, a fun, it's, it's, it's fun. But the Ouija board is not fun. There's nothing fun. There's nothing fun when it comes to Satan game because everything that Satan does, he sees results. So with the Ouija board, you might, you know, you said that it's fun, but it's evoking the spirits from the other world without even knowing to come into your world. It's very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. But... This game called the crate game where these people have crate upon crate building like a tower. Builds like a pyramid. Why is that? Number one, when I saw this game first, brothers and sisters, the first thing that came, came in my heart and my spirit is a tower of Babel. Okay, you might say, well, you know, the crates are not that high. But there's a spiritual annotation behind it. Not everything that you see is carnal like that. You've got to understand that we're living in a world that spiritual wickedness in high places exists. And because spiritual wickedness in high places exists, then you've got to always live into the realm of the spirit. You've got to walk with the spirit of Yah to show you things. You might look at the crate challenge and you said, oh God, that's pretty dangerous because, you know, these people climb these crates and then try to make them make a step, right? And then see who can get to the bottom without the crate falling off. But from what I've seen, brothers and sisters, it, when you watch these, this challenge, it really make you cringe. 
because this challenge is so dangerous. I don't know if anybody has literally died from this challenge or anything yet, but I know that people have been hurt. People have got broken bones, broken jaw bones, falling on their heads, hurting themselves. Why is that? You see a game that is dangerous, but yet you have the, the urge and the desire to still go out and try this, this challenge. Why? Because it's demonic influence. It is demonic pushed. And if you don't have the will and the wisdom to say, no, I'm not taking part in this challenge. Then you're going to follow the crowd and you're going to get hurt. Because you look at it and say, oh, I can do this thing. But once you're doing it, you get to the top. And those crates begin to shake and rock, brothers and sisters. And you have no more balance and you fall and hurt yourself. The Lord isn't pleased. So, number one, that challenge, it is a blood sacrifice. Because people are hurting themselves. People are drawing blood. They're cutting themselves. So blood is, has been drawn. But equally what the spirit of the Most High yeah, showed me, brothers and sisters, if you can find it. I thought I knew where it was. But you got to read it for yourself. I'm sorry, brothers and sisters. I really thought... I really, really thought I had it here. <laughs> it's a Tower of Babel. It's in Genesis. You know that story. <clears throat> you know that story, isn't it, brothers and sisters? With the Tower of ba Babel. How these people were trying to build a very, very high tower that reaches the heavens. And the Lord came down and confused their languages. And they had to stop Bill. The great challenge, when I look at it, brothers and sisters, it's the, it's, it's the building. It's the building of these crates. It just reminds me of the Tower of Babel. That game is demonic. And the Lord says, do not have any part and lot in it. Not this great challenge, brothers and sisters. If you're tempted to do it, rebuke that spirit. Warn your families and friends. It is a mockery to the Most High Yah. We know that Yah cannot be mocked anyways. We know that. God cannot be mocked. Doesn't matter how much you try. You can. It cannot, never ever be mocked. But to Satan, Satan thinks he can mock Yah. But it's the building. It's the steps on this crate. And if they could go higher, brothers and sisters, they could, they will. <laughs> right? This game, this crate game challenge, it is from, literally from Satan. It's a game from the devil. It's a sacrificial game. Because every time you do that challenge, there's a demon. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Whenever you do that challenge, there's a demonic and a spirit of death that hovers around. That hovers around. And the Lord is saying in this hour that those people who are doing the great challenge, you need to stop it. Stop it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And it's, it's very funny, really. I know that other nations are doing that. I know that white people are doing it and Chinese and all that. But, but my, from what I've seen, what I've seen, um, it's mostly black people that's carrying out this madness, this foolishness of, that they call game. All for the, all in the name of fun. And getting, I don't know what they want to achieve out of it, really, to be honest with you. Mockery. The building of Babel. Read it for yourself. It's in Genesis. I thought I had it here with me. Sorry, brothers and sisters. Um, 
But if you read Genesis, it tells you what happens when they were building Babel, the Tower of Babel. And the Most High Yah came down and confused these people. It's a spirit. It's a very wicked spirit that's created this game. It's not fun. It's very demonic. It's from the other world. It's bought into our world because you see the veil is so thin. The veil in our world that we're seeing, that you're looking at me now, this is our world. But there's also a spiritual world that's filled with darkness. They're the ones who have bought it into our world. And unfortunately, they've targeted the black community with this one. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. see brothers and sisters many of you don't know about the second exodus <laughs> Satan wants to kill as many Hebrew Israelites as he can whether it's with demonic games the you know what that's going on the, the, the yeah so you got to be in your cues and your pews and understand what time it is okay but this challenge is wicked it's very very wicked brothers and sisters if you know people are doing it or you're tempted to do it don't do it okay pray against it all right if you have the urge to do it this is demonic it's a spirit that's pushing you all right so you got to pray against it so be bold be strong be be courageous walk with yah just like enoch all praises all beautiful praises to the most high yah who lives above the heavens yah eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in jesus christ precious holy name amen and amen amen let us say the benediction together is Jude chapter 1 verses 24 to 25 we agree with the servant with the servant of the most high yah brother jude we we love the way how he expresses how beautiful and majestic our uncreated yah is the bible reads if you've got your bible please re read with me if you know it out of your head please say it with me if you don't know it don't worry your beautiful self i promise you you will know it okay the bible reads now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.